Hi there, this is Andrew Paul Smith with day 22 of 100 inspirational videos in 100 days. And today I want to talk to you uh, slightly differently to usual because usually I just look directly into the camera and smile and talk to you. But today I've got a few things I want to read to you. And uh, this first thing is, I'm not going to read it to you. I'm going to, <laughs> this is from, from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and I'm going to sing it to you. Uh, uh, it goes, um, blah, 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 blah. every busted bubble has a glory. Each abysmal failure makes a point. Every glowing path that goes astray shows you how to find a better way. So every time you stumble, never grumble. Next time you'll bumble even less. For up from the ashes, up from the ashes, grow those roses of success. Grow the row, grow the row, grow the roses. Those lovely roses, those lovely roses, those lovely roses. From the ashes of disaster grow the roses of success. If you've not watched Chitty Chitty Bang Bang recently, it might be worth giving it a whirl. It's called The Roses of Success, and it talks about the ashes. And that brings me to the subject for today, which is the phoenix. Yeah! And, speaking of the Phoenix, did you watch the uh, Eurovision Song Contest last weekend, uh, or was it the weekend before? Anyway, it was recently, and there was a song called um, Rise Like the Phoenix that uh, won the competition, and I'm just looking here at the, uh, at the lyrics of that. Now, um, it's kind of broken English, because it was an Austrian who was singing it, and I don't know whether it was an Austrian that wrote it. It says, songwriters Charlie Mason, Joey Patulka, Ali Zakuski, and Julian uh, Mass. And I think Ali Zakuski and uh, Julian Mass might not be English. Uh, so there's been maybe uh, a bit of broken English here, but it's it's great. I'm going to sit, I'm going to read it to you now. It says, "Rise like a phoenix out of the ashes." Uh, seeking rather than vengeance retribution, you were warned, once I'm transformed, once I'm reborn, you, will, you know I will rise like a, a phoenix, but you're my flame. Now, um, the rising of the phoenix from the ashes is a kind of a mythical thing, isn't it? And Harry Potter's got a, a book about... Uh, uh, the Phoenix, uh, the Order of the Phoenix, and today I was sort of musing on the fact that everybody needs, at some point in their lives, to to rise up out of the ashes uh, of what what did they call it in? Uh, oh, I've closed the window now. <laughs> uh, in in the uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang song, it, it's it's out of those ashes that we rise up to success. So then I was thinking, well. Um, how many times in our lives do we need to be uh, phoenix-like? How many times do things go horribly wrong and we've just got to pick ourselves up, dust ourselves down and start over? Uh, because they are, it's like it doesn't matter how many times you fall down, it's how many times you get up. And you can't come to another uh, problem in your life, another desperate situation in your life, fall down and not get up. Can you? It's not how hard you hit the ground, it's how high you bounce. So I was thinking about the Phoenix, and uh, and I would say, with the song, the original winning song, it's time to rise like a Phoenix. Um, but how do we rise? And, and again, this is something I wrote earlier. Uh, it's time to rise like a Phoenix, but how does the Phoenix rise? Number one. Uh, for the phoenix to rise from the ashes, the suggestion is that the bird is already dead. Uh, so when it, ri when it rises, it uh, no longer fears. Because death is the biggest fear that we know, and he's already been through that. So why, why would the phoenix be a fearful kind of bird? Uh, so that's number one. Um, it, it rises without fear. Uh, and number two is it rises by magic. And uh, entropy and Newtonian physics don't apply. None of the constraints of its previous life hold it, hold it back. 
So if you're going to rise like a phoenix, not only do you have to do it in such a way that you're fearless, but you also have to rise in a way that nothing that's ever gone before in your life is going to hold you back. It's a, it's a rising above all the circumstances that were in your life and that are in your life. You've, you've got to rise above them. Uh, and that's a kind of a magic thing to do uh, because the constraints of your own life, if you're not careful, you, you keep, you know, because that happened in the past, I can't do this now. But it's lack of fear, fearlessness, and then it's um, the awareness that there's nothing that, that's that gone uh, by in the past can ever hold you back. So that's the magic. So uh, a lack of fear. And then number two was magic. And number three, uh, the phoenix rises from the ashes of what it was. All that was of no use to the phoenix has fallen away. Only the magical part of the phoenix remains. So... It's not so much that everything that happened before was a total waste of time. It's the fact that you've, you've left all that uh, behind you now. Um, it rises from the ashes of what it was. Uh, and only the only bit that survives uh, of the phoenix uh, is, is the good bit, <laughs> the, the magical bit, the fearless bit. That's the bit that, that rises from the ashes. And then I put as a number four, maybe... Uh, number one to number three are incorrect. I don't think they are, but maybe they are. But the one thing a phoenix is known for doing is rising. So are you going to rise from your circumstances? Are you going to rise like the phoenix? Or are you going to say, no, this time I'm really beaten? Because the only time that you are ever beaten in this life is when you say that you are. So there's all kinds of circumstances might be holding you back. Let them burn away. Just rise. Uh, so that's my phoenix-like <laughs> apparition for you uh, today, uh, which is day 22 of my 100 inspirational videos in 100 days. And I'll be back tomorrow with number 23. Uh, but before then, I've got to tell you that if you want to find me online, it's www apsmithonline.com if you want to write to me and you want to rise like a phoenix and you want to join um, Team Phoenix Shh, it's, it's a secret group um, if you want to join me in Team Phoenix send me an email um, in uh, uh, this particular not in this address at this address info at andrewpaulsmithonline.com uh, I will say namaste God bless you, love and light to you, and rise like a phoenix. And I will find the camera again and turn me off and say thank you so much for uh, being with me today, listening to me, watching me, and I will say, whoa, bye for now, you phoenix birds, you. <laughs>